Today update is very unknown for Rolaw fans. Hello viewers, I am Toya. Welcome to our new video. Before going to the main topic, I would like to say, like this video, and please subscribe to the channel. Little People's Amy Roloff revealed the reason behind her sons Jeremy and Zachy's feud. Amy had a secret plan for either Jeremy or Zach to be able to affordably buy the farm from her or Matt when they grew older. Amy gave her perspective on the selling of the Roloff farm in an Instagram lay video. She started out by describing the date that her ex-husband Matt purchased the property from her. According to a two-year appraisal value, which indicated that the property was two years old, Amy said, Matt bought me out at half the value of the property. The actress claimed that she anticipated Matt to increase the farm's price because the land's worth had increased, but she claimed that she never dreamed the sum he ultimately listed it for. Amy sold the land to Matt for $975,000 just two years ago, more than quadruple the sum Matt has listed the farm for at $4 million. My kids couldn't afford it, Amy said. I believed the kids would have a far more reasonable possibility if they could or wanted to negotiate, the celebrity admitted. Unfortunately, I was not involved in the negotiations. I am unaware of what was stated or what was agreed upon. Amy admitted, I'm sad. She continued to explain, that was the tone of us raising the kids on the farm, that one day, one of them would end up buying it. We didn't care who it was, just someone. Amy then began to mention her twin sons Jeremy and Zach, and how their feud over the farm began. She said, so when both of them stepped up at different moments, I won't get into the details of who stepped up first and how that crumbled between the two brothers. Anyway, it is what it is. Amy concluded, it's on the market. It would have taken everything I had to buy Matt out. Rip off by Roloff. The Sun was the first publication to exclusively reveal that Amy had owned the chunk of Roloff Farms that is now for sale. On August 13, 2020, Amy sold 32.28 acres of land for $975,000 in total. For the property transaction, Matt took out a loan in the amount of $825,000. After making improvements to the primary residence and adding extra features, Matt listed 16 of Amy's 32.28 acres for $4 million. The land's 32.28 acres were valued at $1,834,520 by the Oregon County Assessor. On the Little People, Big World season finale, Matt and Amy, to whom he was married from 1987 until 2016, were at odds over Matt's choice to overprice the land. As a result of his inability to reach a financial settlement about the sale of the property, the father of four has been at odds with his twin sons, Zach and Jeremy. I guess you went mad or something, Amy remarked during the conclusion. The specifics of the discussion with the two youngsters are unknown to me. The kids cannot afford something at the current price. The good news is that there are 93 acres available for this family, said Matt. No, there are 93 acres for Matt Roloff, Amy retorted. It is no longer a member of the family family feud. On this season of Little People Big World, Matt has been feuding with his son Zach over the farm after he refused his offers on the property. The rejection ignited a rift between the pair, which Zach had talked about on the show. He said, My dad was definitely encouraging the conversation. Wife Tori and Matt's girlfriend, Karen Chandler, came too. The north side is the 30 acres my mom and dad shared, and the whole thing was weird. He starts making excuses. Suddenly me and my wife are not good enough to run the farm. Whether we lack the resources, expertise, or both, it wasn't cool, Tori said. I never want to see someone talk to my husband in that way again. As a result of the fight, Zach decided to step back from his responsibilities at the farm, severely dividing the family. Additionally, Zach and Tori decided to leave their house in Oregon and move into their new dollar one million residence in Battleground, Washington, snubbed son. 
The TLC star's twin brother, Jeremy, made a comparable decision when he and his wife, Audrey, bought their own property. A previous offer on the property was made by Jeremy, which Matt also rejected. Around that time, Jeremy's wife Audrey posted on Instagram that not purchasing the property was the death of a dream. Jacob, the youngest son of Matt and his ex-wife Amy, is frequently pictured working on the farm alongside his father, which led some fans to believe that he might eventually take over the business. No more today. What are you thinking about this gossip today? Let us know in the comments and stay tuned by subscribing to our channel to get more updates like this. Thank you.